Welcome back everyone to another episode of your daily dose. Today on the channel we are pretty much stock standard again. Uh, some people thought that, you know, the game was getting a little bit boring and eh, they decided to throw us some old mate greedy guts. I feel like the Starlight Wish got a little bit better. Um, of course, if you are still working on your Generation 5 Mythic Heroes, absolutely go ahead and pick that. But I feel like I need to do Greedy Guts, and uh, I just feel like he's going to help me out in the long term. But I do want to see if I can get the jackpot of that Wave Breaker. I'm going to go with his Shards. Pretty much just going to go with Shards. Now that we kind of... What's the word? Now that we can... Well, actually, I don't need that. So we'll go with that. Now that we, you know, we're at that point where we know that there's going to be some limited time heroes for Generation 5 out, um, I feel like it's better to start to get a couple copies of Tatui or Tay Tay or whatever you want. We'll call him Tay Tay. I'll make Tay Tay over there. And the reason is for the index score. Plus, I mean, I really wouldn't mind removing um, either in Kwangji or Heaven's Dragon. Probably will keep Heaven's Dragon. I feel like the Gust is still pretty vital. Um, particularly because a lot of Mythic Heroes do two turns in a row. So their Hatred and of course their Rage. Meaning it will proc the Mythic Beasts. Um, and of course, well no, it doesn't really matter. It does it with the Mythic Beasts. More about the combo charms that will proc. So I think I'll just kill... I don't, I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Technically Fire Deity was meant to replace Fire Kitty. So, hmm, I don't know. They look pretty good. They do, they, he doesn't really do very much damage though. I, I will be honest, they don't really do too much damage. So maybe he needs to go. I, I think I'll just go with support. I mean, you could go ballsy and go Cyan Rook um, for the invulnerability shield. So what do we got in our bag though? That's the main thing that I wanted to figure out. So do I have stuff that I need to do for this? I feel like I have stuff that I need to do for this. So, I need to use these vegetables. Everybody needs to use their vegetables. Uh, it won't contribute to the overall, like, ranking of the guilds or anything like that, but if you have spare veggies or whatever else is lying around your bag, these will disappear, so use them. Um, use them to grab some of the resources, and that's pretty much it. Like, you don't have to spend any of these things. Like, you can keep your firecrackers and do sort of whatever you like. It's absolutely up to you, but... I would kind of recommend spending some of the things like, uh, it, it, yeah, you, you kind of want to spend it in terms of like making some progress, but what are you spending on, right? <sighs> yeah. Do I go with you? I feel like I'm close. So I might as well, I probably should just grab the 40 of you because yeah, well not 40, the 20 of you, because that's close enough for me to get one more uh, copy. Which means I'm like one copy away from five starring Thunder Pony, so that's fine. I think we should go with that. The rest of it I might just save. Or should I just grab these? Or should I roll for these ones? <laughs> we all know PB likes to gamble, so we are gonna go for some re-rolls on our weapon. I still haven't reset my weapon. I, I literally did the video and then put it down. Got 200 of those, and we still got like 100 of those tokens left. Of course, if you don't know, you can exchange any remaining words, so just go into here and basically sell off any words that you have um i'm not sure if they are also in my bag so if they're in your bag grab out whatever it is and then go and sell these ones too um oh we well, can't really sell these ones can you <laughs> and it won't let you exchange them that kind of sucks we did miss some of that stuff but i uh I'll, I'll attempt to do that oh actually you can grab these oh nice all right well there you go we can just use these ones I just sold them inadvertently, but we can grab some more of the fruit and the veggies, so that's cool. Let's just do that then. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. All right, but make sure you're spending your resources. That's pretty much the highlight of that part of the video. As you can probably tell, they actually did release and give us some of these ones back. So over the next couple of days, if you are very, very close to finishing off one of those heroes, go ahead and do that. I think I'm like 10 shards short, so... How many days is left? Another day. So I can get like, if I, if I get lucky, or oh, actually that's the wrong one. Make sure you pick the right one. <laughs> I mean, it's the drop rate for that is, is okay. Do I, do I want to spend gold or do I just, 
Do I just wait? I probably should just wait because it's like a guaranteed six. Or do I gamble? Do I gamble and try and get old mate, uh, this guy for the, the hero index? No, why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. Should I do that? Ah, eh, the old PB. We can buy like 10 of them. Let's just get 10 pulls. Let's see if we get lucky. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is, right? One, two, so how we need, we need like three more copies. Uh, one more copy. There, boom, got it. And let's see if we just, if we do the solo pull. I mean, we could get him. <laughs> it's happened in the past. But there you go. We can, of course, build Old Mate Murray. For those that are curious, Murray is the, he's a solid DPS. Um, he certainly has a support role. But in terms of the other one as well, this guy is Old Mate, I think his name is uh, Shingen. Old Mate Shingen. Uh, he is purely for DPS. He's really good for PB and PvP. This one, a little bit better in terms of just what they do with the shutting down of abilities. So let's just go ahead and grab that index. Um, that's nice. It's always nice to finish that off. Um, right? I feel like it is. Of course, make sure you're doing your East Wind if you uh, got a couple of jackpots on the wheel. But we might as well just go ahead and do some of these pulls. Let me know in the comment section down below, did you get lucky? It is 9k gold for 30 pulls. It is a gamble, uh, 110%, but I feel like there's good odds. Uh, good odds because there's multiple jackpots, if that makes sense. So the big prize is 0.25%. The second prize is 0.3%. Then going for the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. You can read them all down there with the probabilities. But what I think is you get guaranteed shards of what you're looking to build. And I know a lot of players, um, you know, they had the 45 shards of this guy. So a lot of them will be doing that. But like if you're close to finishing off Fire Diety or getting some copies to rank them up, I would recommend going that. It's really just personal preference. The only reason I'm going for these ones is I just want to grab the base form. Uh, so if I do get lucky, that's going to be great. Uh, recommendation, if you do manage to get this selection chest, get Heavenly Cloud, the DPS and then get Wavebreaker after that. Most players probably have some Wavebreaker copies anyway, so just be mindful that, you know, you probably be wasting some of those shards because it is a full piece, and eventually these ones will come out in Arms Race, so you might be able to finish them off in that way. So definitely go for Heavenly Cloud, the DPS, stick that on a DPS, and they'll do lots of damage. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. Let's jump in. Let's do a 10 bomb. Ooh, will we get Tatui? We got one, two, three, four, five, six shards. Do some solo pulls. Yeah, never know. Come on, buddy. Come to Papa. <laughs> Daddy PB wants you. Ooh, we got a couple of tits. Yeah, no, look, I'll take twos. That was that was just terrible. All right, we just we got to trust in the solo pulls. Trust in the solo pulls. Come on, you can do it. Stop giving me these stupid legendary chests. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants the legendary chest. Uh, I don't, it's not looking good. It's not looking great. We did get some Mythic Hero Shard chests as well. So that's going to help us out in the long run getting Gong Sung. Of course, for those that are wondering, if you do manage to spend a little bit on this event, you will get some guaranteed selection chests here, which isn't too bad in terms of just... You know, it's not a bad event. If you want to spend a little bit of money, you'll be able to acquire some cool stuff. Um, value packages, pretty stock standard. These ones are the better value packages out of all of them. I would probably personally go for something like this, but it really just depends on what you want in the game. Just be mindful that this one is a multi-selection chest. So if you are looking to build the Gourd or, of course, the Fire Deity, you can always grab that one instead. You're not locked in, basically. Um, but the other value packages down here, this one's the best one. That's the Dolly package out of all of them. And of course, that is three additional lanterns. I think if you did the math over the days that the event is live, you can get nine from those value packages. Plus you get six a day, plus you get the gold. So I think you're probably just better off buying one of these ones and, a, and I think two of the dollar packages. So for 10 bucks, basically, you will be able to get 15 of these selection chests, which isn't too bad too if you are actually looking to finish off your Sky Piercer. I would recommend sticking Sky Piercer on your Generation 5 hero, kind of like Old Mate Gong Sung. Um, 
it does work better on him. I, I'm just going to say that. And while we're here, we might as well just uh, roll again because these stats were terrible. Absolutely freaking terrible. All right, let's just do the first one because nobody wants defense. Can we get anything? Damage against Way. I mean, it's better than defense. I'll take it. It's not ideal. Let's get rid of this uh, HP one. <laughs> I said get rid of. Oh, I said get rid of. Come on. Roll me something decent. Pierce? I mean, Pierce is okay. I noticed that a lot of play... Like, uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, damage against you. We'll take that too. Definitely want to be able to kill as much of you as possible. Damage and resistance against you is actually not a bad one on our slot one here. Because he will be going up against Xia Un, uh, which is pretty stock standard. Most, most if not every single Shu Nation player runs him slot one, which is of course a generation five for that nation for obvious reasons. That is the one that's going to be doing the money. Now, do I have anything else that I want to upgrade? I kind of want to work on you, so... That's good. We'll get you up. It's slowly but steadily going up. I mean, I don't really spend too much money on this game, so I am enjoying it a little bit more. There's less of a rush to get ahead, but there are some pretty cool things. Make sure that you are, of course, completing this because you're going to need a bucket load of these purple sky brushes. So it is sort of important to be buying these out if you have the opportunity. Um, and of course, you're going to hit a wall, like don't worry about it, everyone hits a wall, it really is just RNG based after that, so you kind of want to get the best possible ones, I did do a video on which ones I believe are the best ones to get ahead, um, this one certainly, the lock HP true damage is probably the better one in the game, you kind of want to be hoping that you roll that early on so you can push a little bit further late game, but it is what it is, right? Make sure, of course, that you are ranking up your main DPS tactic. That's kind of important as well. But overall, I feel like it's not a bad event cycle. It's a very slow event cycle. Um, I would be curious. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Did you manage to get the required things that you're looking for? I think the next event is going to be arms race, um, probably because they generally threw an arms race in after this event. That's what I'm going to speculate. But it could also be Annihilation or... I wouldn't say Transformation. Probably Annihilation. I do feel like Annihilation hasn't been around for a little while, which would be great too, because, I mean, look, if they want to throw me some of those Sky Piercer Shards, I will be getting that to one star. That'll be pretty fantastic. Plus, I think I need some more of these gear sets. Actually, now that I have that, who should be leveling up? I want to do my boots. Let me do my boots. Let's level up my boots. Where are you, boots? Come over here. Get 50 of you. And then... I feel like... I feel like my boots can be... Uh, below damage reduction. Above... Is that damage reduction? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you're so squishy. Uh, we're definitely going to go with the blue one for you. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you are taking advantage of your tokens if you haven't already. Grab those ones and keep pushing along. Um, but there's really not too much else going on in the game at the moment. I am kind of excited about the idea of that we, well, we're literally like um, a month away from God tier. So April is going to be a very, very busy uh, month for this channel because I am already positive that there are going to be a lot of people wanting and available for the showcasing of some of the God tier heroes. They are exceptionally expensive though, so keep that in mind. You might want to save your money instead of pursuing the Gen 6. Um, that's probably my advice. If you are thinking of spending on the game, the God tier is what will break the meta. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be like, oh, all of, all of a sudden all the mythic heroes are obsolete. They're still going to be relevant, but we all know that eventually they get overtaken by the next generation. I mean, we overtook the legendary ones and you still need to do all the other rubbish. Um, but anyway, that's just the nature of the game. Let me know if you uh, want to see any videos specifically on the channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button if you haven't already. Uh, link to our Discord is in the description field. Say hello there. Don't be too afraid of the craziness. Uh, but of course, if you do see me on Facebook, make sure you add me there as well. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching.